and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike, and today we've got three decent uh, stocks we're going to talk about. Uh, so please like and subscribe to the show and uh, put in your stocks of what's your favorite stock uh, that you'd like to talk about uh, and you'd like to discuss and uh, have others uh, learn about uh, as far as on websites and things like that and get to know those. Uh, one of the first stocks we're going to talk about is Terran Orbital Corporation. Uh, Terran Orbital Corporation, last tick was $2.93. It is up $1.23. We're starting to see some resistance uh, popping up. Now, obviously, uh, sh a couple uh, shorts and things uh, went down a little bit after hours, but that's just the after hours game. To what would you say they do here? Uh, they emphasize the importance of risk reduction through rigorous expert and analysis on-site testing. The integrative system testing is to ensure operation and space environment for in-house uh, test capacity capabilities to verify system level performance without requiring satellite to travel off-site, reducing handling and uh, ha handling and schedule uh, risk capabilities include thermal vacuum chambers, vibration tables, EMI uh, chambers, and thermal ambulant chambers. Incoming inspection, quality control for Terran's orbital approved vendors include detailed inspection and acceptance testing of incoming parts, in-house inspection, and taste test capabilities include automated optical uh, inspection, PCB X-ray uh, inspection system and HAS health testing. Uh, they also assembly integration and test AINT. They they have used modern tools to issue tracking, inventory management, procedure execution, test automation, deliver complete traceability and transparency, comprehensive tests, and at both subsystem and integrated system level, reducing schedule and cost. That does not mean cutting corners, of course. It means optimizing the process that improves both quality qu quality, and qu quality and quantity uh, through the continuous improvement. Mission success is mission number one. They offer end-to-end -end constellation mission ser services from design and to data delivery. Uprivaled a flight 80 plus missions supported through the past decade. History of mission plus 200 satellite services to the DOD and NASA. So they have that relationship. That is huge. That is something to consider when you were looking at uh, this company here. Secure network, uh, secure download network, 32 missions supported over the past decade. That is 32 missions supported over the past decade. Terran Orbital is a premier uh, launch in uh, integrator for uh, nano satellites and micro satellites for commercial and government organizations. They coordinate to secure and launch opportunities for nearly every launch provider in the world, and they provide a track that is delivered for more than 215 satellites to orbit. Ground station networking with a worldwide network. Terran Orbital has a ground station, and their team delivers autonomous communication capabilities to uh, customer data is received, routed, processed, and delivered timely and securely. Uh, the mission is operated in the equipped manage multiple vehicles and missions simultaneously combined with global ground uh, station network. They provide actionable low latency information to customers and end users around the clock. Uh, the mission design is to use state-of-the-art tools for mission engineers, design constellation level operators, and they communicate scenarios including optimized payload tasking. Uh, their global solutions for global visibility, they're developing constellations to develop images from anywhere on Earth in a matter of minutes. So they have several things, uh, what they are doing. Uh, let's go to uh, the big headline here. We don't want to bury the lead here. Uh, this is on the website posted to the front there. 2.4 billion for satellites. Yes, uh, from the uh, NYSE, uh, Terran Orbital uh, has been awarded 2.4 billion to, uh, uh, for a 2.4 billion contract to design and build and deploy 288 low Earth orbital satellites for Revita Space Networks as part of the Terran uh, contract uh, Ter or Terran Orbital will also develop 12 space satellites to reduce 300 spacecraft. That is huge, huge in itself, guys. That's not something uh, that uh, you want to uh, put off or anything like that when you are considering that. You need to put that in your notes. Write that down uh, because uh, that's, that's something that you would want to uh, take note of. It will also develop and build 12 spare satellites for a total contract of 300 satellites and portions of the ground support constellation. Now, with that, wh when that gets built, guys, do we look for a headline on that? And does where does that send that after that headline? So the next coming headline after that completion of that project. That is huge in itself. Something else to write down and put in your notes. Uh, it also solidifies the place of manufacturer of small stats of choice. 
We've been doing a lot of work for the government and intelligence community. Highlight that right there as well. They've been doing a lot of work for the government and intelligence community. Follow the trail of money, guys. And now they're doing a commercial uh, commercial side as well, Bill said. I think people can now uh, very confidently line the path of profitability, our path of growth. They should uh, see how and where they're going to get there. Uh, the Space Network's executive chairman, uh, Declan Galini, declined to specify how much the company has in financial commitments from investors, but he told CBC, CNBC the amount of sufficient to meet their obligations for the foreseeable future. Uh, that article was written by Michael Sheets. Right, so going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. You have Rexify. Uh, Re Rexify says, uh, hold till 2026 and retire early. So that is his take there, taken from SpaceX playbook. Uh, you are getting this on the cheap right there. Uh, but remember for this, remember in the early stages of infant, infancy of companies, uh, you also have, uh, if you can recall, lots of stocks that have been here and have taken off. Uh, remember that during a play week, don't just run to uh, the bank to make a deposit to jump in right away uh, because shorties get out on Friday. Uh, just to let you, just to remind you, if you are new, uh, you shouldn't jump into something uh, when it's uh, being promoted and talked about. Uh, also, Baby Grow It says, the military needs these. Buy, buy more. And it says aerial video shows Russian convoy getting destroyed in a night attack there. Dietrich, uh, Leon Diedrichs uh, has a great take here. He says, Beachpoint uh, been selling shares for a while. Shares of Turin orbital stock. He highlights and takes a screenshot. The stock was sold. An average price of 150 per total transaction of 66, uh, 1793.50 on Monday, November 28th. Beachpoint Capital sold 3,175 shares of Terran Orbital stock. So that is something also to note. Great take, great screenshot, uh, great note uh, there as well. Trade says, reported on to Roger Hamilton, the company at Turin to investigate illegal naked shorts. You who illegally shorted the stock will get caught, guaranteed. I will make sure this 100% happens. Uh, so there you have it. Wiz the Wizard Trades is coming in hot. Uh, also, Sent an email to Terry and Orville telling them that the chart at 817, 847 of 402, these weird candles have spiked each time it happened. There's no ask and shares to absorb somehow my guess would be naked shorting. So told them to look into it. Uh, that is good because we know how we feel about the shorts. The next stock we have is LUNR, LUNR. Last tick was $81.99. It uh, looks like uh, plus $44.10 today. So you saw that on uh, the last board that we talked about, uh, the last stock we had. Uh, going to the chart, uh, you saw a huge uptick. We're going to see why. Uh, we're going to go first uh, to uh, the website, check it out, and see a little bit what they do. Going on to the website, Inflection Point, the Disruptive Consumer Technology SPAC. Inflection Point Acquisition Corporation is a special purpose acquisition company with the intention of pursuing North American European business in consumer and technology sectors, which complements the expertise of the management team. Emerging consumer-facing uh, tech uh, businesses have taken a quantum leap forward in the past year in adoption of usage of Accelerate dramatically. That has been the structure to the shift online and is here to stay. Some of the consumer businesses have high quality with enormous customer uh, capability, or sorry, captivity, and desirable sustainability characteristics, strong returns, incremental invested capital, uh, and large TAMs. Uh, they have proven the way that the way they do is now ready to scale. In short, they are an inflection point. So going on to uh, investors' place, looks like we have a story a little bit explains some of why uh, this is uh, the the favorite today uh, in the market where it shot up uh, so high. There is Intuitive Machines Lunar stock the next HKD. What comes up must come down eventually. Yes, this this uh, screams uh, of heavy shorts. I've actually seen some of. Uh, the big dogs on there uh, talking about it and things like that uh, with their uh, trading companies. Their shares of the space company participate Intuitive Machines blasted higher on Wednesday. Social media chatter such as Intuitive may be the next big speculative joyride. LUNR stock ranks well above reason, generating significant risks. Despite uh, the pensiveness of the major majority in, in, in decisis and investors di digested concerns about the rising 10-year treasury yield, space economy partic participant Intuitive Machines LUNR seemingly threw caution by the wind. Uh, during the late hours of midweek session, uh, LUNR skyrocketed well triple-digit territory 
while chatter on social media platforms indicated in, in, intuitive might be the next big speculative trade. Prospect traders should be aware of the steep risk. Last week, Intuitive Machines made its uh, public uh, market debut through a business combination with special purpose acquisition, SPAC Inflection Point. We uh, recap SPAC's no, no longer underlying operations. Instead, their main purpose upon uh, initiating a public offering IPO enters uh, on the findings of it'll be a private enterprise in which to merge subsequently SPAC to provide out, uh, backdoor mechanism for private firms to uh, access public capital. While well, SPACs carry not only the great reputation of eventually leaving retail investors high and dry, LUNR stock aligns with compelling fundamentals, specializing in lunar access to data service solutions. Intuitive stands poised to help uh, undergird the U.S. government's renewed interest in lunar exploration and research from their scientists hope to catalyze the mission to Mars. Uh, so none of the, none, none of the above represents uh, the breaking news of the presence of little value in explaining Wednesday's skyrocketing of lunar well, uh, well, social media chatter and that uh, there's lots of people uh, making videos of this. Uh, we're, we're going into why we're not going, why you're going to make, uh, you know, we're not going to sit here and get our pom-poms out for it or anything like that. We're going to try to take a realistic take because we want to find out why uh, it is happening. And uh, now we know some of it, wh why uh, it is showing up on everybody's promotion list. Some people are taking credit for it that they called it. Uh, but they're just parroting off of other people that say they called it when they did not call it. Uh, in contrast, the benchmark S&P 500 indicates 0.11%. Uh, not surprising, LUNR stock already exceeded benchmark Josh Sullivan's buy price rating target of 14. So uh, Josh Sullivan, uh, buy price, he, with, with that, uh, he has, uh, obviously, he gets the, the win for that one. Uh, while others are parroting off of uh, what they have said there. So going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at, we have uh, Disco Fruit says pre-market is going to be bloodier than $16 to take a bag of, you know what, right there. That is not that far of a reach, just because we know uh, that the shorties will do what they do out there. I could already see some of them that are on there promoting uh, 40 makes him a jerk at the Cali dance, Versace palm trees, I'm rocking these Cali pants. That's a good uh, pick there. I like that. Hilarious people trying to argue fundamentals on this crap. The move is 100% technical and will not last. Uh, I would have to agree there. Let's see where it is on Friday, and hopefully a lot of people don't uh, uh, lose some uh, cash each there. Guidance issues September intuitive machines expects triple revenue to 2023 to 300 million. They are more than double the amount from 2024 to 759 million. That implies uh, grow rates of various businesses units that have yet to generate any value from this company. This company is going to the moon. So White Buff Texas says this company is going to the moon. Uh, so he com he's coming in and he likes how it's going there. Shorts should probably get out by now before PM. So yeah, that's that's the key there. Uh, the short the short people are definitely in this. I've seen them. I've seen some of the videos out there just giving you guys a warning out there uh, that they are there. Uh, it says, uh, there's there's a screen post for that. It says, Chart Buster says, Good evening, my friends. Many people asking me tonight about this stock. Not uh, trying to bash or pump any stock of the company. Just give my opinions. I'm seeing for the stock to go up in price, you must have two major events happen. Great news, earnings, and outlook of the company. Plus, you don't see these important events with extreme caution to make sure you're doing all the things and doing all your DD. Yes, I would say so uh, as well. I would say uh, if you're new to this, don't jump in thinking it's going to be the next whatever stock. Uh, you need to do paper trading and things like that if you're new. Uh, just don't get caught up uh, exactly right here. Damon Clancy 78 is exactly right. Short spreading uh, to incite fear before closing bell. Uh, so that is also uh, correct there. You have lots of speculation. Take your profits before you get burned out. That's Homer 2023. So you got both sides of the aisle. You're seeing both both sides uh, of their takes of what they are saying on this. Uh, we'll just have to see if this thing survives, uh, survives uh, you know, Friday, by Friday. So uh, let's go on to the next one. We'll see you in two and two. Peace. The next stock we have is Bonso Electronics International Incorporated. Last tick was $4.85. Uh, you're showing a 45 cent increase uh, within the past year. Today we saw, let's go to the year-to-date chart with resistance popping up. You saw a dollar gain. 
Uh, going on to what would you say uh, they do here? It was established in 1980 in Hong Kong. Its parent company, Bonzo Electronics International, uh, was listed at NASDAQ US 1989. Our, their office is in Shenzhen, uh, Ganghongdong province uh, in China. Factory located in uh, Xinjiang, Zunfu city in Guangdong province. The total floor area is 14600 m uh, and the total uh, workforce is 1,200 people, including staff and workers. They design and manufacture sensor scales and e OEM and ODM bases. They design, develop, manufacture broad lines of electronic scales, weighing instrument and healthcare products, and used in consumer, commercial, and industrial applications for the global markets. Their higher capable R&D manufacturing team has well experience in handling new product design and prototyping, manufacturing, setup, economic uh sorry economic uh, component sourcing total quality management and just-in-time delivery to meet the customer's requirements top standard bonso's is full vertical integrated self-contained facilities including load cell assembly smt wire blending mold making plastic injection metal stamping spray painting silk screening fine final assembly quality control and logistics to cope with the business group intensive investment and advanced production in enabled highest level of accuracy consistency products include bathroom skills kitchen skills odm and oem products you can see the skills right there they have platform skills bench skills your medical skills pocket skills and hanging skills there's the hanging skill there's all your pocket skills right there bench skills your platform skills and your lab skills. So here's your vertical integration manufacturing ecosystem of their manufacturing there. You have your tool fabrication, you have your SMT, your metal foil, stain gauge, aluminum bar, bonding, metal stamping, plastic injection, silk screening, spray painting, housing assembly, PCB assembly, load assembly, and final assembly. There you have it. Then the stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. Uh, what do you have on the twit? It says he is not feeling this bearish. Uh, Captain Kid, you're not the only one. I just uh, I don't like these types from over there sometimes because of the affiliation with uh, shorting and things like that. Uh, it, they're very highly manipulated, so that's my take on this. Uh, I'm not going to say where I go. You do your own. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get my pom-poms out for it, that's for sure. Uh, Bart's on the block says, let's go bulls. Watchers growth insane so far. looks interesting there. So the watcher count is going up. That's great. Uh, great news for the board there. Uh, Wobbles says hundred percent, 70 K volume spike, 55 K sell off and sideways. Very easy to make 20% on the stock like this. Same old crazy volume migrating to X, Y, Z tickers tag. Uh, ZD capital says it looks like coordinated situation on that thread. Don't buy into this trash. Good take on that because we're going to cover both sides. We're going to cover the bulls and uh, we are also going to cover the bears. So you're going to hear both sides of what people are saying on the stock. Golden Cyborg says watchers are growing quickly and holding strong AH. Uh, shorters are big problems. PND spreading more negativity, trading about patience. Amazing moves, guys talking about, but there's no buying. There's no news either. I tried, I tried going on the alphabet news. Uh, no news there. So we're trying to see why. Uh, this thing was driving up. If anybody has any news, post it in the comment section for people to know about. Uh, we're going to be out on this one. No more on the boards on this. Uh, so don't make it a dog show. And good night now.